Uh, in this video, we're going to look at an example of a decomposition reaction. A decomposition reaction is the exact opposite of a synthesis reaction. So the general form for a decomposition reaction um, is you have a compound separating into two components. And at the most simplest form, we're going to have a compound that's going to separate into uh, two elements in their elemental form. And this compound would just be composed of two elements. And that's the example that we actually have uh, here that we're going to be looking at with magnesium oxide. Now there are other, uh, a little bit more complex decomp decomposition reactions, but generally we're going to follow um, three kind of set types of a decomposition reaction. This is our first type where we just have a simple compound that's made up of two elements and they'll split apart into their elemental, um, into their separate elemental forms. Uh, we could also have a metal, I'm just going to use the letter M to represent that metal, uh, and a carbonate. Okay, so a metal bonded to, to carbonate and anytime we have something like that we are going to form a metal oxide, so that metal and oxygen, and carbon dioxide. All right, so the first type was here where we just have a very simple compound, two different elements, which will decompose into the two elements in their elemental form. Our second type here, we have a metal carbonate, which will end up with a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. Our third type of decomposition uh, will be a metal that's bonded to a chlorate. And this is always going to make uh, a metal chloride, so me that metal bonded to a chlorine uh, ion or chloride ion and oxygen gas. And so these are our three different types of decomposition reactions. We're going to look at the simplest one here in our uh, problem. And depending on the level of your chemistry class, you may need to have these two types memorized as well and what they're going to end up making. Predicting the products of a decomposition reaction I actually think are a little bit easier than predicting the products of the other um, reactions. And if I look at this one, this is the most simple version of a decomposition reaction because I only have two elements here. I have magnesium and oxygen. So all I really need to do is figure out, well, what are the elemental forms of these two elements? Uh, magnesium is a metal, and pretty much all metals will take on the elemental form of just that metal as a solid. And if I wrote the symbol of magnesium in its most natural, I keep saying elemental form, I just mean its most natural form that it's found in nature, it'll look like this solid magnesium. Oxygen, you may remember this one, its elemental form, or the way that it's found most commonly in nature all by itself, is as the O2 molecule. So remember, oxygen is a diatomic element, and there's seven diatomic elements found on the periodic table, and oxygen is one of them. So it's always going to be found in nature, uh, not always, sorry, in, in its most natural found form, it's going to be found uh, bonded to itself as the O2 molecule. So now that I know the elemental form of each of these elements, I can finish this equation by writing solid magnesium and elemental oxygen or gaseous oxygen molecule. And then the last thing I need to do here, and you may see this, I still need to actually balance this equation and if I put a 2 in front of the magnesium oxide and a 2 in front of the solid magnesium now I can see that everything here in my equation is balanced and so this is our final answer here so again this is a decomposition reaction where one thing will become two things here on the other side